All right, well, I am quite excited to show you the latest iteration of Printer Financial. Here we are on the Kronos network, nice cool icon, even though it doesn't look like anything like what I would think a Kronos would be. So I was thinking Kronos, you know, I'm thinking more like, I don't know, Klingons, right? Because their, their homeworld is called Kronos, but with a K instead of a C. And you can clearly see their next target. You can't see my, there you go. Their next target, I can't click this because I'll explain what's wrong here in a second. Their next target is obviously Polygon, and I'm on Polygon. So I might actually do Polygon, especially because I have Sphere there, obviously. So it would actually be nice to have, you know, Printer Financial, you know, <laughs> uh, on here. I just kind of hope that this website problem that I keep having will not be present on Polygon. So, yeah, as you can see, it went from non to 59 cents, back and forth. So there's... So there's right now there's a problem and I, this was present yesterday. That's why I'm not I'm being very careful right now not to click around. Right? There's a problem with the website retrieving the actual data. I don't know what it is. So and then obviously the APR is obviously not zero, but I don't know what this is because oh actually it is zero because the epoch's not live. Oh that's right because uh because X Y Z here. Uh let me see. Uh, let me see if I find Ripe. Oh, that's on. Yeah, Ripe is already almost back. There's Phantom. Per oh man. All right. Well, it's gonna be a little difficult because I have to. Because I saw it here. So no, Vinyl Finance is still featured here. Okay. So they've already changed it. So we do Kronos. Maybe it's listed here. Printer, printer. Oh, they have some stuff here. Dark Crypto, January 8th. So someone actually recommended this to me a long time ago. So I'm going to actually, I didn't actually realize they're above peg now and they're actually that old. So I saw someone in the YouTube comments a long time ago mention this and I didn't bother following up. So now I will follow it up. They relaunched this. Yeah, this is obviously bad. Uh, Savannah Binance already covered. V3S Finance, February 25th. Okay, so this also looks pretty good. So I'm going to make sure I cover this next time. So I'm going to add that to my content queue. All right. So Kronos is looking like it's doing pretty well. So that's a good sign. Okay. So printer financials, because I saw in the launch project details last, oh shit, I didn't want to do that, last night. So that's how I know about this now. All right. But uh, I'm not, I'm probably not going to do Kronos because I really don't want to deal with the gas fees apparently, but I'm definitely going to do the Polygon version of this. All right. Uh, I might... I guess we'll take a little quick look here. I'm not going to switch because that's going to fuck up the website on Kronos. Uh, this is looking all right, too, actually. Of course, it's not zero, but that's because I didn't connect my wallet. Oh, okay, it did show up. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. And obviously, I have plenty of money on Phantom, so, well, I'm used to. <laughs> it's actually producing really good cash flow as long as I take profit every day, which I definitely do. I actually take it twice a day, depending on what I'm doing. Uh, maybe sometimes more. Uh, I don't know. Would I want to do this? Is there a point? Oh man, let me be very careful. Shit. All right, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually gonna check real quick on Chrome. Because if I, because if, if if I change, it's gonna, it's gonna like completely screw this up, and then whatever. Yeah, because what again? What's nice about Printer Financial is there there really are like hardcore cross. They're already going cross chain, and their thing works. That's why they're good, <laughs> right? You can already and then according to their Twitter, you can already bridge to Kronos right now using your paper, right? Of course, there's some kind of fee. Okay, so Earn Inc. Okay, so according to this, what the hell? Oh, I was oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Daily APR is one point five three. Yeah, that's way too low. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna pass. Okay, uh, see now it just disappeared again. Okay, all right. So, all right, we try opening up a separate window here. Okay, this is working. Okay, so at least this is working. So we got four percent to forty to 50 percent that's because the tvl in this is very low so of course after this video goes live maybe more people will jump into this uh i mean it's not that bad i mean the sh i mean the share price is actually going to be somewhere around 11 to 12 hours so you're still going to see a 75 percent drop here okay so i have to keep okay 
you know what let me write this down because again the website's clearly not working right uh four percent to fifty percent daily apr right, i'll just i'll just write write it that way because i need to keep these window tabs not going out of control board room isn't live yet it'll be live in 50 hours so here we could see the distribution pool so we got paper ink right which is neutral so we don't count that uh because it's buying pressure on both right well it's actually no 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 that's not no 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 i'm, I'm wrong this is 50 percent of whatever this is so this so whatever this, so because the shares ink goes down right but half of it consists of paper which is being bought up only so this actually counts as 12. so this is definitely a smart apr system they have a single stake paper which is 10 percent so obviously these people know what they're doing which is why i like printer financial so much no peg smart apr system they know exactly what they're doing and they're already cross chain i already got four cross chains going so it's very so it's clearly obviously know how to just fork right and they get their bridge the bridge that they have is is what's important that actually works apparently even though i don't use it i might eventually plan to use it all right otherwise you know uh you know the the new chain that's why it's called chain right so in this case paper crow they get 35 percent. so and of course it's 12 months you know whatever so very good smart apr system I already wrote down the daily APR, and again, they literally just launched March 17th, so about five days ago, All right? And their boardroom is kind of live. So this is paper. This is correct. Wow, look at the drop. Wow. So if they launch on Polygon. The first thing I'm going to do is actually buy, uh, I actually would just buy the paper at the bottom and, the, and then LP it after it goes back up. Right, because uh, I'm guessing that was the Genesis pool, and the Genesis pool people just dumped everything because they don't care, uh, which is fine because they dumped it. I mean, this is awesome. You have any idea how much I would love to buy the base effing token for like 11 cents? I mean, you can't see because of the trading view, and I can't go back because the price chart distortion. Look, this thing is being given away for free, and look, it's like 6x. <laughs> All right, it, it's six six x all right or sextupled right yeah septuple with it it's like september 7th even though september is the ninth month of the uh, of the year i don't know why they screwed it up like that but yeah or is it called hextuple yeah i guess you could do hextuple too but it's actually called sextuple but of course it has the first three letters of you know the other thing so maybe we'll maybe i'll start calling it hextuple instead because hexagons have six right hexagon has how many sides? It should be six, right? Yeah. So yeah, I'll I'll personally start calling it hex tuple now, and I'll create a new word. Maybe someone write hex tuple. Maybe. Oh, so someone actually did. What is the difference? Oh, that's interesting. Sex tuple is a verb. But as an adjective, that that doesn't make sense. Sextuple is an adjective too. Yeah, see, it says right here. It, it's included as a thing. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. I didn't even know this word existed, but yeah, I just cre I created this out of thin air. See, see, I can figure shit out without even knowing anything. That that that's it's, it's like it it it's it's a very handy tool that God gave me. So you know, obviously, I'm gonna abuse the hell out of it. All right, so anyway, this is looking pretty good. It's already pretty stable, it looks like, and the paper is worth exactly what basically the paper is worth on other blockchains. So you know this is gonna be pretty confident. Just be careful about the share price because this share price is very distorted. I'm on Binance Smart Chain, right? Because that's my home chain for Printer Financial. And right now I can tell you, let me go over to my Chrome, uh ink shares are ten dollars and 37 cents on the binance smart chain paper uh, on binance smart chain is worth 60 cents so you gotta be very very careful you're planning to like work the shares right i i i would just avoid the shares yeah the uh daily apr on this is like 50 percent, but it's not gonna last long all right it's gonna drop down to assuming the tvl remains the same i'll go from Take 50% daily APR and then reduce that by 
75 to 80 percent it's probably more like 80 percent so whatever that number comes out to all right just have the paper all right just have the freaking paper because like the home page says cross chain mobility also allows you to take advantage of arbitrage so if one chain goes far below you know that everyone's well what happened in that every other chain would dump and then everybody would cross bridge over to here and then maybe buy it no that don't make no sense no 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 you would buy the undervalued paper on say let's say chronos was 11 cents like it was before yeah you would take the uh paper here you would cross chain it to like all the other clown chains over here right binance avax and phantom right and then you would dump the thing there and that's your arbitrage net profit and there's no tax on it there's only a tax on the shares the ink shares so there's always going to be a price equilibrium then all right okay yeah yeah this is great this, this is fantastic and the more chains that they keep expanding i mean eventually they're gonna to have to change this because there's gonna be like 50 50 icons in here well it's definitely gonna be 10 but there'll be like 50 icons here all right actually if i were that i would have like maybe like I don't know, six or seven at most, and then the eighth icon is a drop down. Like you mouse over it and it drops down the other chains. Right? And then maybe you have the drop down that says more. <laughs> right? Or more chains if you can somehow fit it. I mean I'm not a UI specialist, obviously, but you know, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today and printer financial, because at this point we know this is a legit project, right? I mean they're literally all over the place now. Uh, in fact, I didn't follow their Twitter, but I did last night. So they're doing really, really well. Uh, start bridging. Just change the game. A fast, free, reliable bridge. Probably nothing. Crypto bridging is just you guys to check it out yourself. On it was my favorite anything in Konos. I ran a quick Evo bridge RV three percent. I shipped the thirty four k over. I lost five six hundred. You guys nailed it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, see, this is their utility, all right? Ease of use, all right? So they have, so their bridging functionality is called the gas station, which of course is not loading for me at all. Wonderful. Am I on Kronos still? Yeah. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, well, like I said, they really have to work on the website. Like they said, there's, there's like, I don't know. It's like, it doesn't seem like people are complaining about the website. Can I even access it myself? Pro printer financial. Switch to Kronos. Gas station. This is so fucking annoying. It's still blank for me. Okay. What about printer financial for me in... Uh, state pools, docks, oh, bridge, okay. Okay, if I had 11 paper, my target chain is Avalanche, Kronos, and Phantom. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, and then I can approve it. Yeah, I can already uh, transfer to another chain already from Binance Smart Chain. It works on my end on Binance Smart Chain. Yeah, but anyway, oh, I forgot to mention another thing. <clears throat> What's nice about also doing the peg token for this is this slowly goes up over time from what I can tell right as more chains come out therefore more utility and more demand uh, you know this actually is more like I don't want to say stable coin but it's the closest thing to a stable coin that you got all right and because again there's no pay all you know, right shares will always be worth something and from what I can tell right you know the share printing on this isn't too bad uh, yeah, right now on Binance Smart Chain, we're at 8,639 circulating supply out of 82,646. So, I assume, like, you know, down the line, they'll create, obviously, a layer two. But I'm hoping they should have figured out by now that what they should do is just have, instead of 12 months, just set it to, like, 40 years. And then have the same amount of shares that you would have. So every 12 months at, what, 80,000 or 70,000, whatever that is per month, just have that per month, that same per month for 40 years instead of one year, all right? Then you don't have to keep bothering with, uh, you know, all this other crap, all right? 
So, let's see. Also, I think they did not renounce these contracts, so they may not even need to do a layer two. All they have to do is just expand the supply and extend the lifespan. So, let me see. Uh, let's see. Printer. Okay. Not so much for that idea. Printer. Multi. Uh, yeah. This does not have anything. No, K no audit KYC or renouncing. So they can actually just simply, yeah. So they can actually just simply just just change, just change the contract. Obviously, this requires a large amount of trust, but I think these guys are have proven themselves trustworthy. I mean, they've been around since February second because their first chain was Phantom. So, yeah, I yeah. I mean, as always, of course, you know, don't pull your eggs in one basket. Of course, right? It's just another position. Right, because again, nothing because of the way that printer financial is set up, they can rug pull at any time, and developer morale loss can occur, and they'll just simply go pulse down and say, you know what, go f yourselves, we're out of here, we're taking our marbles home. So, all right, we don't need the documentation; they've already proven themselves. So, yeah, definitely check out printer financial. Hopefully, you won't run into the same website problems that I'm constantly having to run run into because the gas station does not work for me. Uh, it's just a blank white screen, even though you can see the URL. And I'm already connected to the site, and I'm already on Kronos, so on my MetaMask, on my dummy MetaMask. So I, I don't know what's wrong. But anyway, that's another reason why I want to avoid Kronos, because apparently it is a pain in the ass to use this blockchain, right? And, and like that Twitter guy said, it's a pain in the ass to bridge anything over to Kronos. Yeah, Hotbit charges me five Kronos to bridge as a withdrawal fee. So it's really freaking expensive really expensive so but whatever it's free money so i don't really care well none of you would care either so check out printer financial on chronos right you'll probably actually want to use their bridging functionality believe it or not um oh yeah you still have to make sure you somehow create some chronos for yourself that's uh, yeah have fun with that and of course as usual five percent tax on the ink shares all right, so that's it. I'm done for the day. I'm going to exercise. It's already 9.02 a.m. I want to enjoy the sun before the clouds kind of do its little thing. So let's see. I think I'll see you all tomorrow, right? Because we'll cover two more Tomb Forks. They just happened to be on Kronos, right? Because I just saw them on the XYZ site. So good enough. And they're above. They're at Peg or above, slightly above Peg, so... Clearly, they should be doing something correct. Plus, XYZ does not just give people that little, what well, you, know, you can't see it, but that little thing that says pay, all right, right up at the front. So, you, but usually when I see that, that's usually a good project, right? So far, every time I've checked it and we did the video on it, therefore, the project always checked out pretty well, right? You know, so I think they did the same with Peg Maker too, as well. But, you know, obviously they have a problem with boardroom, they have to fix it up. But it's holding very well, so I'm very happy. Like, this is going to pop off, and crypto's popping off too. Retail normies don't give two shits about crypto. And look, it's already, Bitcoin's already going back to 43k. Like, this going much higher, going much higher, because inflation's out of control. So, commodities are already skyrocketing. Crude oil's already skyrocketing. So, why isn't cryptocurrencies going up? I mean, at this point, you know, like, plan. I haven't followed Plan B because I don't only need his info, but... You know, he had a tweet about the beach ball, right? You can only suppress the beach ball in the water before it will just burst out. And I think, hopefully, that's what we're, what we're finally seeing, all right? I waited a long time for this moment. Of course, uh, you know, my money's in a lot of different things these days, but oh well, whatever. I already see the money flowing into cryptos, uh, into my positions anyway. Only Caesar finance is lagging, but that's because of fundamentals, right? They'll eventually pop off too, but... Uh, that's why you don't want a small team, right? But hey, Sphere Finance is just going on a rampage, and it's only going to get a lot more expensive. And I'm already sitting pretty with that, so yeah, I don't have to worry about bills. See you all tomorrow. Like, subscribe, share the videos, blah, 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 expand the channel. Again, welcome to all the new people. I really appreciate you, because, yeah, I was actually kind of surprised. I'm so glad that I just tried this new YouTube content format, because one day I just accidentally, 
well, not accidentally, but like my first video was like how to, and then I added a little daily APR. I was like, whoa, this thing got like 100, 150 views when I normally got like 10 or 20 if I were lucky. I was like, wait a minute. I did less work. I enjoyed it more. And I got like eight times more viewership. What did I do different in this particular video? Oh, I just did like, oh, this is how you make money using this particular project. I was like, oh, there's more of these forks. I guess I'll just try doing that. And the rest is history. So, actually, social blade. Uh, oh, they, well, they didn't nag me about the uh, thingy. What do you call it? Uh, Cloudflare. Hey, there's me. Okay, I, I, cle I deleted a bunch of videos, so that's why that happened. Uh, and YouTube right now is kind of spurging out. It is actually not plus 10, plus 20, plus 10. It's actually, YouTube's just having some kind of technical issues. Uh, and then, of course, these averages are screwed up by this number. But yeah, if you ignore this number, you know, it's going really well, right? It's going really well. And you can tell, because right when I did it, December 2021 into January, you know, it just went like, you know, it just went up, so. Again, thank you, everybody. We're going to turn this into a uh, powerful weapon for the people. And speaking of powerful weapon, I need to do some push-ups and exercises. So see you all, I think, tomorrow. Yeah, I feel, I feel pretty good physically, and I only did two videos today, so yeah. All right, thanks.